Well, today I got a couple and irons I think I'm going to work on. They're a little bit crusty, but uh, I'm thinking they're going to polish up okay. I actually found these um, up in the attic, which is kind of strange because I don't even have a fireplace in my house. So I don't know how long they've been up there. But weather's getting warmer, so I think it's a good time to uh, work outside a little bit. And uh, let's get started on these. All right, well, I think these are made of bronze. So I think those will polish up okay um, for the ornate part of them. The back here, I just spilled a little motor oil. That's all why that's wet. But I'm thinking I'm just going to wire wheel this down and uh, clean that up. I don't think I need to hit that with a flap disc. I don't really need it smooth. I'm thinking the textured look will be a little better. And I think I'm just going to put some heat treat paint on it, some of that barbecue paint. Um, but what I want to see, I want to see how well these polish up. So... I think those might shine, I hope. The feet on these are looking a little crusty. Uh, yeah, a little bit of rust on that. I'll have to see where it ends. Might Bronze might end here and then it's back to cast iron, I'm not sure. But, uh, well, get these off. Got a couple screws holding on the, the legs. And, uh... Get those cleaned up. Hold out here, can't get my hands working. those in some evapo rust and see if I can get those to clean up. And they're hollow. Nothing living in there, is there? What's it say on the United MFG Manufacturing. United Manufacturing. I have to look that up. I don't know what that is. There's another L over here. I can't tell if that's another letter. If you guys can see that. Look this way. It looks like a 40. 
on the end. Yep, that's an L. Put that light on there. United Manufacturing. sit a little while. I got a bad feeling we're going to heat on that one. Hit that with some heat. Grind that off. I like to use the right hardware, original hardware, but. To soak rag and evapo rust, maybe, and uh, wrap it around it. Maybe that'll work. Let it sit for a while. Now I can move on to cleaning up the other one and we'll come back to this one.
Well, actually didn't come out too bad. You guys can see you got dinged up pretty good, whoever was using it. Could be the kit now that that got hit. Curious to see how old these might be. Yeah, I can read United Manufacturing. There's something before the L. There's the L, but then there's something here. It might be an S. Looks like there could be a spot where there's a, another letter. I can almost see the indent of a... Almost looks like an R. S-R-L? No. Too far gone. I don't know what the 40 means, but I'll look into that. And uh, let's go check on the other one, see if we can get into that. Right. Yeah, it's on there. All right, well, yeah, I, I don't want to cut it off. I mean, I probably have some flathead that would look to be the, from the original, but if I can keep it original, I'd rather do that. I wonder if I could break the rust moving it here. Careful I don't break the cast iron. You can still see that? No. Oh yeah, there we are. Maybe. The thing's spinning. Oh, we got it. Well, we got lucky on that one. Boogered up the head a little bit on it, but uh, maybe I'll clean that up with the wire wheel too. It's the same thing I it too. Yeah, so it's the same thing. United Manufacturing. That is an R in there. Oh, I bet one was right and one was left. Huh. One for the right leg and one for the left leg. Probably when they were casting them so they knew what what one went to what. But I, I'm only guessing on that. Huh. Let's see if I get that in the shot. I can't tell if that's even in camera, but it's the R right there. So I bet that was for the right leg. The other one's the left leg. Huh. All right, well, let's get this one cleaned up. I don't know how the lighting is, but uh, yeah, this one's got some bangs on it too. But I think that might be the castings, because if you see here, let's get that in there. Yeah, that's from the casting too. That's pretty cool. What I'll probably end up doing is wiping these down with acetone or clean the metal, get all the oils out of it, some degreasers, and. Uh, um, I'll put that paint on, but I'm going to have to wait for a warmer day. It's 
about 50 of a high today and uh, temperatures dropping so next week we got some warmer weather so we'll we'll try to get it done I think we'll move on to trying to polish up that brass now let's see how that works all right so this is the stuff I plan on using I want to use this never doll um, I've used this before on other mills. it came out pretty good uh, hopefully it'll polish up that uh, brass pretty good this is probably what I'll use on the feet just some Rust-Oleum High Heat Barbecue Black, just to uh, protect it. Okay. The brass may only come down to about here. I'm not too sure because I start to see a lot of rust from here down. So, I'll polish up what I can. The rest of this I may have to hit with a wire wheel. <clears throat> Let's just see how it goes. have to try something else. Oops, I'm probably bouncing you guys all over the place. Might have to try something else. Yeah, this is just rust down here. I have something else. It's supposed to be real good on metal. Use it on, uh, if you've seen some of my other videos, uh, clean the contacts on my cartridges and shit like that, but it might work pretty good on this. Let me go get that. I'll check that out. Okay, let's try some of this. It's that Bright Boy Metal Polish. Um, this don't work. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's just going to take a lot of rubbing. Nice clean cloth for this one, too. Wearing it off, or is it actually cleaning it? Hard to tell. Well, you guys get the idea. I'm going to clean it up and uh, bring it back. Okay, here's kind of more of a before and after picture. I don't know if the camera's picking it up or if the lighting's real bad, but this will be before. I haven't touched this one. This is after starting to get quite a bit of shine here. It's kind of dull down here where I put the bright boy on, but I don't know if it's just if I'm losing the because I'm taking off the patina, obviously, but um, it's starting to really shine up here. And you can see the tips of them too, or, or if I get that in camera. Tips of them are really starting to shine up too, so I don't know. It's not like I've done any restoration before, or polished a lot of brass, so kind of my first time too. So I'm just seeing how the results come out. I'm just going to keep going with what I'm doing and see if I can get these to uh, clean up. I did notice on this one, this probably did have this first one I'm working on, which real rusty. Let me move these up. 
if you look at the feet on them, this one does have brass all the way down. This one's really rusted. So that brass must have came off or was plated or whatever. So I may have to just put the blackening on the feet down and just leave the upper parts brass just to make them look right. Otherwise, it's just going to see rust. Um, I'm not looking for 100% restoration on these things, but I just, just wanted to clean them up and see see how they looked. No sense having them rusting up in the attic, so... Uh, okay, I'll continue on with what I'm doing. Bring you back in a minute. Okay, I'm about only halfway through cleaning this one, but uh, I can tell, yeah, this this one's a little bit better condition, but the bronzing was good here until I get over to this foot. It's really rusted, so there was some either water damage or where these were being stored just took a lot of abuse, so... I'm just going to do what I can with them. Uh, again, I'm not looking for perfection. I just wanted to clean them up. There was I saw them and I thought they looked pretty cool. So, um, oh, there's more writing on here. United and Manufacturing again and 44XX. I don't know if, you, if I can't even get the light in there. Let's see if I get a better light on that. And manufacturing forty four. XX. I don't know what that means. Huh. Well, I'll have to look those up. And uh, I'm going to finish polishing this up. And then I might clean up the feet. And bring you back when I start to apply the uh, high heat stuff. Okay, here's a quick update. Uh... I ended up using a drill with a wire wheel on the end of it to get into some of the tighter areas where the detailing was. Um, this one here was the one I had that was uh, really bad and rusted. And as you can see, it took most of that rust right off. And you can see the detail starting to pop through the little um, design divots. I don't know what you call those. But on the negative side, you can see the difference. The brass, bronze... Uh, it's all worn off here anyways. I, I don't know if it was from the rust or just me using the wire wheel. Either way, it I couldn't have the rust on there. It looked like crap. You can see the difference from here, the, the one that was in better condition. So, I'm thinking, because I can see how worn it is here, they're just, just shot. Debating whether or not to do the whole thing. And then just do them all in black, which would be fine too, but that bronze just makes a little bit nicer, you know, ornate uh, look to it. But I'm definitely going to do the wire wheel on this one like I did this. So I'll probably do black from here down and on the back legs and just have bronze on the upper. And if it doesn't look good, I can just go over the bronze, I think, with the, the black and just leave them all black. And... Uh, see how those come out but uh i couldn't believe how much of that rust came off so that's a good sign still a lot of pitting i don't know if you can see that pitting in there that's real bad but once i get the paint on there that should hide some of that all right i think it's going to be time to put the uh the black high heat uh paint on the lower part of the legs I taped off around where I want it to stop and I think I'll get the uh, back legs too so the feet and the legs will take care of that um, I don't think you really want to see me paint so I'll just bring it back when it's done I don't know if you could tell but this stuff goes on pretty thick it's going to take a little while to to uh, dry but uh, I'm going to put a couple coats on 
just to make sure I got good coverage but uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna stay shiny or when the heat hits it it might dull I don't know I've never used this stuff before it'll be interesting to see but uh, yeah you didn't have to use too much it just it just very thick but um, plan on doing something different for the upper part shouldn't be this thick but I'm gonna have to consider this a loss this is just it was too bad by the time I got to it um, there, there was really no save in it so I'll let this dry we'll see what how the second coat looks and I'll bring you back okay here's where we're at got the bottoms painted I thought they come out all right that stuff went on pretty thick but it did help hide some of the uh, pitting the bad rust pitting so if I get that to focus you can see it there but when you get them back you don't see them as bad uh, kind of in between what I want to do now the weather was good I had a chance to paint these up but now it's gone cold again uh, that's how it is in March in western New York, but uh, I was going to do these upper parts of the andirons. I was, I didn't know, I wanted to go another bronze color. I was going to use this lighter color for uh, um, like a, uh, what do you call it, a, <laughs> a primer. That's the word, a primer, but uh, uh, I don't know if I even need it. So I ended up buying this. It's supposed to be good for high temperature, and it's called a new bronze, but it comes out more like a chocolate color. And I sprayed both of them on this piece of cardboard so you can kind of see the difference. Maybe I get that in the light better. Too much of a shine. But silver's over here. Obviously, the new bronze is here. And I kind of overlapped it like I'd be using it on a a uh, as a primer, but I, I don't like it how it came out. So if I put this bronze on, I think it's going to be too dark with the black and the the other bronze, the real you know the new bronze color. I think it'll just be too dark. I do want to. I really do want to keep these. I might just try to polish these up a little bit better and just see if I can get them. Just to shine up a little bit, especially up here where it's really still kind of cruddy. But uh, I, th I think I'm going to leave them like this for now. Just shine them up a little bit more, put the backs on them, and leave them alone. Um, uh, see, it's shined up better here than this one. But uh, I, I just, I think it's going to be too dark with the the dark brown and the black down here uh, I like the two-tone and there's gonna be a lot more black once I put the back legs on them and uh, found new hardware because the hardware I took off I put that in evaporous came out good but different sizes so this was added on later anyways this wasn't even original hardware so I don't know when that was added on but I got old stuff too so I'll put I'll put some uh, flat heads on again that are in a little better condition. And uh, I'll bring you back when I get that done. Well, I got them back together. That left one has lost a lot of uh, shine to it. It really isn't looking too good. I'm going to have to try just putting some different paint on. I guess if I don't like it, I'll just go over it with something brighter. So I think I'm going to try that... Uh, that uh, new bronze color and see what that looks like but yeah the bottoms I'm happy with that got the new hardware on so I might dab those with uh, some of the black too so it matches it doesn't stand right out I guess worst case scenario I'll do them all black but yeah let's see what we can do now Okay, here's the silver. Uh, I'll try to get the bronze on, but uh, temperature's dropping, so I don't know if I'll get that on tonight, but uh, at least get a look at what the silver looks like. I am done with them. Um, 
as you can see I got the new bronze color on it I'm not sure if this camera picks it up good or not but it actually is tough to tell in, in regular light the difference between the new bronze and the black this is a little more flat uh, I get a little more of a shine off the the new bronze but uh, the dark on dark really doesn't do it really should be a little more shiny but they do look a lot better than what they were and these are a lot like chocolate but um, if you get it in direct sunlight you can see a little bit of a, a fleck a sparkle fleck in the paint I mean if I do anything I, I'm just gonna call this one quits um, I don't want to put too much time into that I've already put like a week and a half in just between paints and weather to cooperate but I might just paint this lower part the new bronze and I'll just leave the back the uh, log holders I'll leave those the flat black but uh, yeah I'm still happy with the way they turned out it's better than what they were it's a fun little project so um, yeah like I said I don't think I'll, I'll bring it back if I do change anything um, but I think I'm going to call it quits and, uh, thanks for watching.